Hello all, welcome to my channel, Rated R Tarot. I am your girl, Holly and Soon. I welcome you all to my space. Please be aware, everything will not resonate. So take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever else. Flip it, switch it, rub it down, put it wherever you want to. This is your story. You know where everything goes. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Hello, Taurus. How are you all? I hope you all are well. Well, I don't know. I guess Spirit wants you to know that this thug is starting to see the truth. Oh, we talking about a thug here. Look, they love you. I wish, I wish, I wish. They wish it for you, Taurus. Shit. They left you hanging. Secluded, they sell clothes, they sell off. Well, right when they left you hanging, they went to spiritual jail, shit. Or they went to real jail. They love you. They want to tell you they wish you were they wish towards. All right. This thug wants to tell you the truth or they starting to see something that's being illuminated. What else is here, spirit? What is being illuminated? And they trying to cope with it. Uh huh. Uh huh. And they are not happy. Taurus. This thug is starting to see the truth. Yeah, they not happy with some reading. They could have somebody could have got a reading here. Reading. Mm -hmm. They seeing that it's too late. That's why they ain't happy. So this thug is starting to see the truth. They starting to wake the fuck up, and they trying to figure out how they gonna cope with this uh, situation. You know, because they're not happy about these readings that they've been getting. They feel like it's too late. Yeah, they had you in a no strings attached relationship. There could be a love child involved. Maybe they're just a love child, you know. A uh, workplace affair. Smearing back. Something. It's too late to find a job. This spirit. Yeah. And now they're going to try and um, put this uh, love spell on you. Okay. Yeah, to get you in your feelings. Mm -hmm. But see, you know this person's true colors. You know they shady. <laughs> Your spiritual gift told you that this person was going to try and trap you or this person was trapped or they feel like something was telling them that this person was trying to trap them. They were living in a moment with somebody. They was in a love-hate relationship. You over here happy and single and they over here heartbroken. <laughs> See, but this is a, a karmic lesson for this person for turning their back on you. Uh, mm, mm. This person, it's too late to put you this love spell on you. Okay. Uh, or somebody put a love spell on someone to have them in their feelings for them. Tell me more with this feeling here. This one. They want them to get back in on, on that cycle with them. This is somebody that they could have been in the karmic cycle with. Tell me about this um, cycle here. Round and round. Somebody trying to get somebody back in the cycle with them. Somebody tried to put a love spell. Could have tried to put a love spell on your person. And had them in their feelings about them. And to have them get back in this karmic ass cycle. So, but so I feel like this thug here is starting to awaken to the fact that they need to cope with the shit that they did or whatever. Or they're trying to cope with the fact that they're not happy. They're not happy with this person. They're getting readings. They see that um, it's beginning to be too late, you know. So now that it's too late, they want to put some type of spell on you to have you in your feelings. I don't know if this you or, you know, this another person could have put a love spell on them and had them in their feelings. But what's this round and round cycle? Why is this person doing this? Because something is over. Like somebody's been rejected. So this could be a karmic doing this to your person. Or this could be you doing this to your person. You can be rejecting them, ending this. Yeah, this somebody, see? This somebody that had a karmic tie with. It was a secret. This a karmic. That they was bumping their head with and they said goodbye to. And now this person trying to put a love spell on your person. And they not happy with what they've been seeing or some readings that's been get they've been getting. Shit. I feel like it's too late for this spell though. 
Because they trying to put your person back in their feelings to get back in this cycle. But they, this all this shit been rejected. Yeah, because this thug, he's starting to see the truth. He's starting to see the truth of all of this bullshit. And, and he's trying to cope with something here. Yeah, because it's karmic here that they had a secret with. Yeah, this is this karmic. Bumping heads. Yeah, they keep getting into it. They just like, I'm done. They trying to wish you back. Shit. This psycho ex that won't let go. This could be somebody from their past. Or this could be your person. A psycho ex that won't let go. Like deep in the thoughts and memories and th of you. Okay. But yeah. Tell me about this rejected spirit. <clears throat> Yeah, they ended this. They got readings on this person or somebody was getting some readings. And they feel like it is too late. It's too late for these love spells. Rejected. That person put this shit to an end. This was like a, a karmic debt. This person was putting your person in debt. This person probably wasn't even working. They was just living in the moment. You know? And they, they could have living in the moment with this person and blocked you out or they was living in the moment with this person and just got rid of their ass they missing you and your dna okay they missing your dna they missing your energy this is shocking they got some shocking news and now they feel like shit. yeah because they this person uh, tried to trap your person and backstab them but you know what spirits say this is a karmic lesson this could be somebody they thought this was a karmic lesson that they had to learn because this is a karmic lesson your person, this your twin flame had to learn. Oh, whoever this person is. This person was creating some type of illusion here. And I feel like your person got upset. They were lying like they had money. Like, this person they didn't even have a job, okay? They was lying to your person like they had it going on. Maybe they had some income tax money or something. Shit, I don't know. But this person, dead, unemployed, bad credit, okay? They tried to put a love spell on your person, try to get them back in their feelings and get in this cycle. But this shit is over. It's a funeral. It's a funeral. They've been rejected. This person got bad credit, debt, unemployed, and they created illusion. And your person got pissed. Or maybe, like, what's this my way? I'm sorry, George. I'm just shuffling my life or Yeah. Oh, this was a, this was an arrogant. This person, this person created an illusion and i feel like this person was very egotistic towards you they were um very selfish yeah they secluded and closed themselves off from you and caused some type of tower here now they looking for you because you over here living your best life why they over here cheating and messing around with somebody with a workplace affair and they running yeah because they was doing something with somebody they could have been shit, working on the lawn with this person. I don't know. But this person was, little, you know, living this toxic lifestyle. And you over here happy and single. Mm. This person is... Okay, so this person could have been creating an illusion that they were like... You know how some women be acting real dominant, like they boss, boss, like whatever, you know, you work for me and da, 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 I get money, I get paper. Yeah, so they was creating this illusion like they was this queen bee out here. I had to get my mind right, yeah. They was creating uh, 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 an illusion like they were running some shit, period. Look, but guess what? This illusion, yeah, this illusion, like, yeah, I get my way. I do what I want to do. I got bills. I mean, I got businesses. I got this. I got bank accounts. I, I got $100,000 I'm about to go pick up. Yeah, no, that shit a lie. This person ain't got no damn money. This person is bankrupt. They broke. They ain't got no money for real. 
they just did this in front of your person to make them feel like feel like shit. Look, they shady. They they do they do shady stuff. And yes, why your person left this dumb bitch hanging or a man or a woman or whoever. Yeah, but this is what it's, it was supposed to come to them. You know, shit. They just this psycho ex that won't let your person go or whatever. Your that is all of this just mirroring back to them. What they did to you, Queen D. Yeah, like I said, your posted person ghosted. Yeah, this person could be in jail for stealing or something. Yeah, because they got bad credit and debt. And this police station fell right up under bad credit and debt, unemployed police station. This person probably was stealing with credit cards. Yeah, and your person is cold and detached from this motherfucker. They probably cold in jail somewhere. Shit. I don't know, this person that they were in a relationship with or this person could have been married and they found out, they seen the truth. They they were living in the moment. Look, this person could have been, your person called and detached. They got all this credit and all these problems and these bills and they found out that this person was actually married and that they were living in a moment with this person. And now that they found out the truth, they feel like shit. Look, they feel like a jackass. They over here praying for... For you to come back healing and meditation and all of this. Now they trying to get their life right and get spiritual. Yeah, they fucked up over you. See, they thought they was doing something when they let you go. They thought that they was about to move on to greater and better and all of this. Yeah, but now they over there addicted and thinking about you and want sex with you. Okay? But they over here acting fake busy. Like they really doing something when they really thinking about you. When they really addicted to your sex. Now they under pressure because they was dealing with somebody that was shady as hell. Now they got to figure out what they want, got to do. Because first of all, they tried to play you over here. By letting you go and setting you free. Okay? This toxic lifestyle or whoever they drinking with, they done blocked this shit out. This side hustle, they left it hanging. They ain't want it no more. They ain't even want that couple dollars from this uh, psycho ex that can't let go. Shit. They see you over here happy and single. Look at that person peeking out the window looking at you over there chilling, happy, single. Shit. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. What about this uh, ghost, ghosted attack? Yeah, so this person lied and acted like they had some money to her. They, they got debt. That's what they got. This the type of person that be all in their ego. Yeah, I got this. I'm, a, I'm I'm riding big boys. I got big dollars. I get money out here. Ain't got shit but a bunch of damn debt they done racked up trying to prove something to other people like they got it like that. Buying all of this expensive food and all of this da-da-da-da-da. No, you don't. You don't got it like that. So stop pretending. Shit. Look, they missing your DNA. I, I don't know. They could want to get you pregnant towards... Okay, but they miss you, and I feel like they missing your energy. They missing your DNA. They missing you. They missing you being there. Shit. This psycho ex that won't let go wants a family with you, or they have a family with a psycho ex that won't let go. Okay, and or their family, this psycho ex that won't let go. Oh Lord, I'm so tired of saying that. <laughs> they cause yeah. So this crazy psycho ex that won't let go. I feel like they had a family with this person. This could have caused heartbreak with the divine feminine. Because this person has a, a baby with this crazy ass ex. Okay. That won't let go. And they missing you because of some pregnancy or something. Or they just missing your DNA. They losing sleep over some legal matters. Could be legal matters of the heart. Okay. Yeah, they left this side hustle hanging. Whatever they were doing on the side, they ain't doing it no more. Shit. Um, what can you tell me about this cold and detached Holy Spirit? Ghosted. Yeah, they ghosted cold and detached towards the judge bill. I told you. They detached themselves from this lying ass queen bee. 
made an illusion like they was a boss out here and they really got bad credit and debt. Tried to get your person in their feelings and put them right back in this karmic ass cycle. But your person been dead at this shit. This shit is a funeral. That mean it's been over. That's mean it's buried in a fucking grave. Get the fuck on. They rejected this person. This person got bad credit and debt. They know that this person is lying about all of this boss mentality. Like they got it going on. No, they don't. They in jail for fucking credit card fraud. Shit, they detached from this Jezebel, yeah, because if they didn't, they ass probably be in jail too. <laughs> what can you tell me about this Jezebel? Yeah, look, fucked up over you. Because of a love child. <clears throat> I don't know if I figure this out. What you can you tell me about this Jezebel? Yeah. Under pressure. Nah, not as Jezebel under pressure and heartbroken. They see you over here. I, I feel like Yeah, your person is under pressure. And they're under anxiety. And they need to make a decision. They feel like time running out. Cause they heartbroken over you and you over here like dun 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 I'm just gonna chill you know what I'm saying you over here loving yourself divine feminine living in the moment I feel like you closing the cycle or somebody your person could be closing the cycle with this person because they didn't have no strings attached anyway shit they want to send you a love message and sweet talk you to her mm -hmm. yep Whatever they was dealing with, they secluded themselves from that shit, yeah, and blocked that shit out, yeah. This was a love-hate relationship that they was dealing with, and they fucked up over you, nah, because they went back to this shit over here. Shit, they losing sleep. They hoping you ain't over there having sex with somebody else. <laughs> yeah, whatever was going on with this love child, it's over. That shit came down, okay? They was acting fake busy because they was being shady. They was doing some romantic shit with secret accounts. So they could have been on people's OnlyFans page and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Some type of secret accounts where they were dating people. Under pressure still. <clears throat> yeah, they try to keep this karmic a secret. Under pressure. Yeah, they're going through a spiritual awakening, downward spiral, an ego death. They're going through it. Yeah. 